give my obedience to God, second to the pastor and first lady, to our district missionary and elders, along with my missionaries and church mothers. Today, I would love to talk to you about handling and holding on and allowing God to see you through. All right. Today, I come to encourage you all to hold on. Be strong and allow God to work it out. In this life, we are going to go through things. Things that may test our faith and causes us to want to throw in the towel. But God said, hold on. There is no situation too big or small for God to handle. Think about it. What is the worst thing you have ever been faced with? And God brought you through it. No. Really take the time to think about it. You know, the time you didn't not expect him to come through. Uh -huh. That's right. That time you didn't deserve him to come through. Yes. That time you really needed him to come through. Uh -huh. And he did. Yes. Yes. He brought you through that and he could bring you through anything. Yes. Yes. I'm a living, walking testimony of it. Yes. Allow me to share my testimony. Uh -huh. For those of you who don't know my story, I had three kids. My first one son's birthday is on April the 24th. My oldest son passed away six years ago. Person to have ever made me a mother led me into one of the biggest heartbreaks I have ever experienced. A heartbreak that challenged me in a different way. A heartbreak that required faith in God. Do you know how hard it is to lean and depend on God yeah. when you are going through, when you are attacked, attacks are coming from every angle, yes. when you are feeling alone yeah. and weighed down, yes. that's when you have to tap into the new level of spiritual growth. Yeah. Let me tell you something though. Growth is not easy. Yeah. Growth requires requires a lot of change. Yes, growth can make you uncomfortable. Yes. But growth is necessary to survive. Yes. Go, go, go. It took growth to lean. It took growth to learn how to lean on God. Yes. yes. I said I, I said learn because no one is perfect. Yes, I said learn because even at my age I get tempted and tested. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I had to learn how to lean on God yeah. and God alone. Yeah. Can I keep it real uh -huh. uh -huh. with y'all for a second? All right. All right. See, normally I would become depressed uh -huh. and go into my dark place uh -huh. All right. and stay there. Uh -huh. Normally I would isolate myself from everyone and stay there. Normally, I would click out and give those who have offended me a piece of my mind. Normally, I would call my daughter and depend on her to pull me out, shut down and stay there. Come on now. But I couldn't do that this time. My daughter was away. And this time, I had to lean on God. Yeah, yeah. But do you know we serve an awesome God? Yeah. Yes, we do. I serve a God that said no more. No, no, more. no, more. no longer no will longer. you be bound. Right. No See, the enemy don't come to take it easy on me. Right. See, the enemy don't come to take it easy. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. Therefore, it wasn't enough to just attack me in every area of my life. He attacked me mentally. He attacked me physically. He attacked me financially and spiritually. But with that every attack the enemy had for me, I held on and God fought my, my back. Yes. Before I knew it, the month of April was over. Yes. Before I knew it, yes. God saw me through. Yes. 
If I had to use a scripture for my testimony, it would be Psalms 34, 18 and 9. All right. I have the easy to read Bible. When people are upset, the Lord is near them. Yeah. He saved those who feel weak and upset. Righteous people may often have trouble, uh -huh. but the Lord saved them from every danger. Yes. The Lord is close to those who have suffered disappointment. Uh -huh. He saved those who are discouraged. Uh -huh. God's people might have many problems, uh -huh. but the Lord would take them away, yes. all away. Yes. Let me read that again for all of you that may not have understood. Come on. The Lord is close to those who have suffered yeah. disappointment. Yeah. He saved those who are discouraged. Uh -huh. God's right. people might have many problems, Come on yeah. now. but the Lord will take them oh, all away. Yeah. So today, I encourage you to hold on and keep fighting. Yes. But you will make it. Yes. You made it before, yes. you will make it again. Yes. Yes. Through the enemy's attacks and trip, tricks, you made it. Yes. Through the heartaches and pain, you made it. Yes. Through the disappointments, you made it. Yes. Even when you felt like giving up, you made it. Yes. Look at me. I made it. Yes. I am no longer bound. Come on now. God kept me. Yes. I survived. Yes. I am free. Watch your mouth. See, the God I serve was sent the angels yeah. in the middle of a storm. Yeah. As I held on and fought, God sent pastor yeah. to save and give me strength. Yeah. How many of you know how exhausting a battle can be? Yeah. But God will send you what you need. Yeah. When you need a complete Complete your battle. Yes. During my fight, God sent pastor and he walked me around the church. Yes. As I began to walk, shackles started to fall off. Yes. With every step I made, I declared my victory. Yes. And I walked into my freedom. Yes. With that being said, I am no longer bound. Yes. And I am going to you. Yes. God has done it again. Yes. God has done it again. 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 God. 